Happy 37th day by day. Ang tagal na ng panahon na lumipas at tayo nga ay nakakatatlumput pitong taon na na anniversaryo. At siyempre pag may mga anniversaries, lagi nating tinitingnan yung nakaraan, nire-review at tayo ay tumitingala, tumatanaw sa darating pa. Ang pamagat ng ating pag-aaral ngayon, which is really a review and a look forward in a way, love na lang talaga. Matthew 28:18 to 20 Lumapit si Jesus at sinabi sa kanila, Ibinigay na sa akin ang lahat ng kapangyarihan sa langit at sa lupa. Kaya't humayo kayo, gawin ninyong alagad ko ang mga tao sa lahat ng mga bansa. Turuan nyo silang sumunod sa lahat ng iniutos ko sa inyo. Tandaan ninyo, ako'y laging kasama ninyo, Hanggang sa katapusan ng panahon. Yan ang huling habilin ng Panginoong Yesus bago siya bumalik sa Ama. Namnamin natin at i-juxtapose natin ang ating kasaysayan bilang isang kapatiran at tingnan natin kung paano tayo makakakuha ng guidance dito sa darating pang mga panahon na ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon bilang isang spiritual family. Matthew 28, 18-20 Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So this is authority over all. Over all laws. Over all powers. Yan talagang si Jesus ang pinakanangingibabaw sa lahat ng kapangyarihan. Yan man ay natural. Yan man ay religious, cultural. Wano mang kapangyarihan yan, spiritual, ang Panginoong Yesus ang pinakanangingibabaw. Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Verse 19, Yaman din lamang at ang lahat ng kapangyarihan ay nasa aking mga kamay. Therefore, sabi ni Yesus, Go and make disciples of all nations. Sabi ng easy to read version, So go and make followers of all people. In the world, here the mission becomes global. The object of the mission becomes universal. All people. Na pagdating mo appreciate yung pagiging universal ngayon ng utos ni Jesus, because at first the mission was tribal, racial, national. Kaya sabi ni Jesus sa Matthew fifteen twenty four, nung una palang, I was sent only to the lost sheep. Of Israel, so sa unang bahagi ng kanyang mission, ang focus nila ay mga Hudyo lamang. Matthew 10:5, these twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions: Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any of the town of the Samaritans. So sa background ng unang bahagi na yan ng mission na para lang sa mga Hudyo, para lang sa mga Israelites. Ay sinabi ni Jesus sa verse 19, So go and make followers of all people in the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So here, sa bilin ng Panginoong Jesus, bago siya nagpunta sa kalangitan, we see a new baptism. Isang bagong pagbibinyag, pagbabautismo. Baptism in a new name. In fact, baptism in new names. Now, this is not the law and the prophets as usual. This is not a continuation of old Judaism. This is a new age. Now, hindi ito yung kinakatakutan ng mga super conservative na tinatawag nilang new age. Iba yun. This is the age of the Father, Son, Spirit. This is already beyond the age of the law and the prophets. In fact, the age of the law and the prophets was ending. Ibang panahon na ang pumasok at pumapasok at nagsimulang pumasok at may panahon ang nagwakas, nagwawakas. The age of the law and the prophets. Sabi sa Luke 16.16, The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. 
since the time the good news of the kingdom of God is being preached and everyone is forcing their way into it. Ang lodaw, ang kautosan ng mga propeta ay inihayag hanggang kay John the Baptizer lamang at mula noon sinimula nang ipahayag ang good news, ang magandang balita of the kingdom of God. Katumbas nito sa New King James Version, the law and the prophets were until John. As sabi ng New Revised Standard Version, the law and the prophets were in effect until John came. So malinaw ito. At that time, at that age, the law was to end. Jesus said, I will be with you till the end of time. Could this be, I will be with you till the end of the age? Age of the law? I will be with you till you are safely delivered into the new age of grace and love. Kasi akala na mga iba, pag sinasabi ni Jesus yung, I will be with you till the end of time, till the end of the age, eh ang tinutukin niya end of the planet, end of the world. No, it was the end of the age. Jesus was going to be with the disciples, with his followers, with the children of God, till the end of the age of the law and the prophets, until the new age of love and grace is fully ushered in and is blossoming. Acts 2, 14 to 17 and 21. Kaya tumayo si Pedro at nagsalita ng malakas. Hindi lasing ang mga taong ito. Ang nakikita niyo ay katuparan ng ipinahayag ni Propeta Joel. Ito ang gagawin ko sa mga huling araw. Huling araw ng kautosan. In the last days of the law, sabi ng Diyos. Ibubuhos ko ang aking espiritu sa lahat ng tao. Ipahahayag ng inyong mga anak na lalaki at babae ang aking mensahe. Ang inyong mga kabataang lalaki ay makakakita ng mga pangitain. At ang inyong matatandang lalaki ay magkakaroon ng mga panaginip. At sino mang tumawag sa pangalan ng Panginoon ay maliligtas. Ito yung tinatawag nating Day of Pentecost. Nung bumaba ang Espiritong Banal at kung ano-anong mga kababalaghan ang nasaksihan ng mga tao sa Jerusalem, akala nila lasing ang mga disipulo ni Jesus. At sabi ni Pedro, hindi lasing ang mga taong ito. Sila ay puspos ng Espiritu. At itong nangyayari ngayon, itong panahon na ito, right now, here, today, ito ang sinabi ni Propeta Joel na magaganap sa mga huling araw. So, hindi huling araw ng planeta kasi 2,000 years ago na to. So, yung planeta nandito pa. Yun ay magaganap sa mga huling araw ng law. In the last days of the law and the prophets. And in the first days, the beginning of the age, the new age of love, of grace, of Jesusness. Heaven, salvation, becomes democratized. Ngayon, hindi na lang yung mga members ng school of prophets ang magpo-prophesy. Hindi na lang mga lalaki, pati babae. Hindi na lang mga bata, pati matanda. Hindi na lang matatanda, pati bata. Lahat ay bubuhusan ng Espiritu ng Diyos. At nagsimula na daw yun nung panahon ng Day of Pentecost. It was the beginning of the end. Not the end of the planet, not the end of the world, but the end of the age of law, of the law and the prophets. It was the beginning of the end of the temple. And here, religion was bypassed. Because the Spirit was given to everyone. Not through the temple, not in the temple, not through the accredited prophets, but through very simple believers. Men, women, children, old, young. Sa pagpapatuloy na binabasa natin, verse 20, And teaching them, sabi ni Jesus, to obey everything I have commanded you. Now let us emphasize here the word I. Teaching them, what I, not the others, have commanded you. I, Jesus, not anyone else. This excludes everyone else whose command does not harmonize with that of Jesus, whose command contradicts that of Jesus. Linawi natin, meron ang inilagay si Jesus na filter dito sa verse na ito. Yung teaching niya. Ituro daw sa lahat ng tao sa buong mundo ang mga turo niya. Therefore, na-exclude yung turo ng iba, lalo yung mga turo ng iba na sumasalungat sa turo ni Jesus. Enter the Jesus filter. And it began nearly 2,000 years ago. Sabi niya, ang ituro ninyo yung command ko, hindi yung command ng iba. 
hindi yung command ng iba na sumasalungat sa command ko. And the command of Jesus is love. So, anumang katuroan na hindi loving, hindi loving ang application, hindi loving ang interpretation, sasalain na ito sa Jesus filter. Kasi ang utos ni Jesus, bago siya lumisan dito sa balat ng lupa, turuan nyo ang lahat ng tao kung ano ang aking itinuro sa inyo. Hindi yung itinuro ng ibang mga propeta, hindi itinuro ng inyong mga tradisyon, kundi yung itinuro ko. And the teaching of Jesus was and is love. John 13:34 Isang bagong utos ang ibinibigay ko sa inyo ngayon. You see, bagong panahon, bagong utos. A new age, a new command. Magmahalan kayo. Kung paano ko kayo minahal, gayon din naman, magmahalan kayo. Yan ang utos sa church, magmahalan. Yan bang nangyayari? Kaya maganda talaga dire-review lalo pag anniversary. Matthew 22, 36-40 Tanong ng mga tao kay Jesus, Guro, alin po ang pinakamahalagang utos sa kautosan? Sumagot si Jesus, Ibigin mo ang Panginoon mong Diyos ng buong puso mo, buong kaluluwa mo, at buong pag-iisip mo. Ito ang pinakamahalagang utos. Ito naman ang pangalawa. Ibigin mo ang iyong kapwa gaya ng pag-ibig mo sa iyong sarili. Sa dalawang utos na ito nakasalalay ang buong kautosan ni Moises at ang katuroan ng mga propeta. Ang laging idinidiin ni Jesus, pag-ibig. At dito, binigyan pa niya ng isang magandang anggel. Ibigin mo ang iyong kapwa mo tulad ng pag-ibig mo sa iyong sarili. So kung ikaw ay nagkakamalit, ayaw mong maparusahan ka, Huwag mong ibigin na parusahan ng kapwa mo pag nagkakamali siya. Ganun lang kasimple yun. All commandments, laws, teachings are now superseded by love. To be filtered through Jesus, through love. At ito amplified by Paul, 1 Corinthians 13, 1-3. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. Walang katuturan ng gift of speech kahit gano'n ko kagaling mangaral kung hindi ako maibigin. Isa lang akong kumakalembang na kampana o lata na nagiingay. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. Haanin ko ang lahat-lahat ng mga kakayanan, ng mga special gifts, kung hindi ko ito i-apply sa pagmamahal sa kapwa. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Kahit ano pang sacrificial giving ang gawin ko, pagsisakripisyo, service, pagtitiis, paghihirap, kung hindi ako maibigin, ko ang effect nito ay hindi pag-ibig sa kapwa, wala ring katuturan. At sa John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Sinabi na, manalig ka kay Jesus, manalig ka na mahal ka ng Diyos through Jesus, manalig ka na ang ginawa ni Jesus isa sapat, pambayan sa iyong kasalanan, sapat para ikaw ay maihatid niya sa presensya ng Ama sa langit. Sabi niya, Pag meron kang ganun pananalig kay Jesus, you, you will not perish. You will have eternal life. And yet, many people, even within the church, would rather have many people who do not satisfy their religious standards perish, get punished, suffer. Walang love. Romans 13.10 Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. So what is the law all about? To do no harm to a neighbor. In yung negative. Don't do any harm to your neighbor. All the law is about that. Now, ginawa yan positive. What is the law now of Jesus? What is the command? Love. In other words, do what is good to your neighbor. Hindi na sapat na huwag mong sakta ng yung neighbor, kundi gawan mo siya ng mabuti, ng mainam, ng mabait, ng maibigin. 
love na hindi lang motif or flavor. Siyempre, marami namang relihiyoso, mga preaching, teaching, love. Ang mga nakalagay na verses sa mga dingding, love. At meron din sila mga loving acts here and there. Pero motif, flavor lang. Dapat hindi lang motif, hindi lang flavor ang love, kundi love to the point of forgiving. Hindi lang giving biscuits and giving a drink, love na. Love to the point of forgiving. Love to the point of non-punishment. Habang gusto ng isang relihiyoso na ang kanyang kapwa mana ng palataya ay magdusa, maparusahan dahil sa tingin niya na pagkukulang nito sa pag-satisfy sa mga religious requirements, hindi pa siya loving kasi gusto pa niya yung kapwa niya maparusahan. Kaya love na hindi lang motif or flavor, kundi love to the point of non-punishment. Love to the point of interceding for non-punishment. Si Jesus, nung siya ipinapako sa krus, ang panalangin niya, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Ang panalangin ni Jesus at His crucifixion, eh, hindi ipagpilitan yung justice na Lord or Father, maging just po kayo. Let your justice prevail. Parusahan niyo itong mga nagpapako sa akin. Hindi. Ang dalangin ni Jesus, was for non-punishment, for forgiveness. And yet, maraming mga religious leaders, loving daw. At loving naman, nag-aabot ng biskit, nag-aabot ng ganito, ng mimpo, ng vix, sa mga pasyente. Pero ang gusto nila, ang kapwa mana ng palatayang nagkakasala, ay parusahan ng Diyos. Kailangan mapalo ng Diyos. In fact, maraming religyoso, tuwang-tuwa pagka ang mga kapwa mana ng palataya na sa tingin nila ay makasalanan or short of the glory of God ay nakakasakit, nawawala ng trabaho, naging hirap, nabubundol ng pison, nasa sagasaan ng bisikleta, tuwang-tuwa. Sabi na, ganyan. Kasi talaga makasalanan. Dapat mangyari yan. Dapat may justice. But you know, the love of Jesus is love to the point of interceding for others for non-punishment. Hindi yung nagpipilit pa ng justice. Gustong-gustong may punishment. Ang true love is love to the point of perfect grace. Yung talagang walang patakarang pagmamahal at pagtanggap. Yan ang bilin ni Jesus bago siya pumunta sa Ama. Sabi niya, teach them what I have taught you. I command you, love one another and teach people, teach the people of the world to be loving to one another to the point of forgiving each other, to the point of not doing harm to each other, to the point of doing good to each other, to the point of interceding for non-punishment even for others that you consider to be short of God's glory. In other words, nagbilin si Jesus bago siya umakyat sa kalangitan, eto ang Jesus filter. Ako ang filter. Ang teaching ko ang ituro nyo, therefore, sa Jesus filter, na ating Sinubukang isimplify sa mga drawing-drawing. Christ gave His own body to destroy the law of Moses with all His rules and commands. So yung Jesus filter, papadaanin dyan ang lahat ng teachings. Yung mga word that is loving, the words of Jesusness. Marami din naman sa Old Testament niya at saka sa New, mga loving, mga words of Jesusness. Pero nandiyan din yung mga moral laws ng ancient Israel noong araw, yung batuhin na nagkakasala hanggang mamatay. Nandiyan din yung mga civil laws nila, yung mga dapat gawin pagka ang isang babae hindi kinasala, hindi na virgin, pagka may nagnakaw, pag may anak na naging suwail sa magulang, yung mga dapat gawin dyan. And then meron din mga ceremonial laws, yung maghugas ka ng kamay, maghugas ka ng paa, maghugas ka ng ganito, bla bla bla. So, ang lahat ng katuruan na yan, dahil si Jesus na ngayon ang standard at katuruan na ni Jesus ang patakaran at ang pamantayan, lahat ng yan ay salain sa Jesus filter. Pagka loving, papasa, lalampas, i-apply, tuloy. Marami mga teaching sa Old Testament na very loving. Huwag mong nakawa ng iyong kapitbahay, huwag mong agawin ang kanyang asawa, maging mabait kang anak. Tuloy lahat yan kasi loving. Pero may mga teaching na very cruel, hindi na papasa sa teaching ni Jesus. In fact, hindi na in-implement ni Jesus. 
Katulad ng mga sobrang pagpapahalaga sa sabat, kahit pagod na pagod ka na para magsabat, pinalaya na ni Jesus sa mga tao dyan. Marami na siyang pinalaya na mga nagtatali sa mga tao na para siya maging loving, makapagbigay ng pahinga, ng love, ay pinawalang bisa na niya. Pag yan ay sinala sa Jesus Filter, hindi dadaan, hindi luluso, tatalbog, tatapon. At sa ating drawing, ay yan yung inilagay na natin sa historical file. Reference na lang yon, History na lang yon, Hindi na yon kailangang pagpakamataya na i-apply ngayon. Kasi si Jesus mismo, marami nang ni-revise, marami nang ni-revoke, at dinilit sa mga laws na yan. So let's read Matthew 28, 18-20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So, baptizing them in the new name. Dati kasi iba yung name na pinapahalagahan lang ng mga, mga Jews. Pero ngayon, sinabi ni Jesus, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This is a new name. Baptizing them into the new age of the Spirit, of love, of forgiveness, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And all that Jesus commanded was love. And surely, sabi ni Jesus, I am with you always to the very end of the age. Not only to the 37th anniversary, not only to the nth anniversary of any church, but to the end of the age. Not the end of the world, but the end of the age of the law. Until ma-fully appreciate ng mga tao na nag-end ng effect ng law at grace and love na ang in effect. Until the end of the age, until you fully recognize this, until this becomes fully operational in your lives, sabi ni Jesus, I will be with you. Therefore, go and make disciples. Make followers, teachers, leaders, practitioners, models of the fulfillment of love. Ito ang bagong mission. Dati we were trying to save people from hell. Dapat tuloy yung ganong klaseng ministry. Especially to save people from the hell in their hearts, in their minds, in their lives on this planet. Pero merong napakahalagang dapat mas maintindihan. Bagong mission. To save people from guilt, from fear, from suffering because of fear and guilt dahil hindi pa nila realize that they live under grace. That the age of the law has ended. That the age of grace and love has begun 2,000 years ago. Huwag nang makipag-away. Huwag nang makipag-hate tungkol sa kung ano-anong teachings. Titus 3.9 But avoid foolish controversies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. Kung nung nakaraang 37 years ng ating kapatiran, eh meron sa ating mga nasangkot o nagkasangkot-sangkot tayo sa mga controversies, arguments, quarrels, especially about the law, sabi ng Titus 3.9, these are foolish controversies. They are unprofitable and useless. So dapat ngayon, as we look forward to the years after 37 years of our church, huwag na tayong sumali, sumangkot at makigulo sa mga foolish controversies and arguments and quarrels about the law because they are unprofitable and useless. Focus na lang tayo sa love. Love na lang talaga. Kasi yun ang mahalaga. 2 Timothy 2.14 Keep reminding God's people of all these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. So, huwag na daw makipag-quarrel about words, terminologies, yung mga kung ano pang mga ilalabas mo dyan, mga Greek, mga Latin, mga Hebrew, and then mag-aaway-away ito ko sa mga application, mga interpretation yan. Sabi ko nun, huwag na kayong sumangkot sa mga ganyan. Grow up. There are much more and many more important things in life. And foremost of that is to love. To love your fellow men. To forgive. To accept and love people unconditionally as Jesus did and as Jesus does 
This is the mission that Jesus was giving to His church, to the people who believed in Him and who now believe in Him. Love na lang. Ang dami-dami pwede pag-ubusan ng panahon, ng oras, pakikipagaway, pakikipagtalo, pakikipagkompit, pakikipagpagalingan. Love na lang. Lalo kung medyo may edad ka na, malapit ka na humarap sa Diyos, malapit kumbaga sa flight, nando ka na sa departure lounge, nakikipag-away ka pa, nakikipagbakbakan ka pa sa mga doktrinang hindi naman na-settle noong 2,000 years na nakalipas at hindi naman masesettle sa iyong panahon. Love na lang. Above all. Above all ito, ha? Above everything. Higit sa lahat. Love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. At pag pinag-aralan natin yung terminologies na ginamit dito sa original language, love covers over a multitude of sins of the one being loved and also of the one doing the loving. Pag nagmahal ka, nakikinabang ka at yung minamahal mo. Pag nagpatawad ka, pati ikaw napapatawad at siya rin napapatawad. Kaya, love ka lang. Proverbs 10.12 Hatred stirs up conflict but love covers over all wrongs. Naging all pa ngayon, ha? hindi a multitude lang, all. Pag may pag-ibig na umiiral, natatabunan, natatakpan, nahuhugasan, nabubura ang lahat ng kasalanan. Dapat ito ma-appreciate that love is not only a motif, it's not only a flavor, it covers all wrongs. Hindi lang siya seasonal, hindi lang siya periodic, hindi lang siya situational. Love covers all wrongs. Pag na-realize mo to, pag na-realize natin, doon pa lang tayo magkakaroon ng kapayapaan, ng katahimikan, ng joy, ng rest. 1 John 4, 12-13 No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and His love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in Him and He in us. He has given us of His Spirit, the Spirit of love. In other words, sabi, walang nakakakita pa sa Diyos kahit sino. Pero pag nag-iibigan tayo, nakikita mong iniibig kita, nakikita mong iniibig mo ako at ang ating kapwa, daig pa nun ang nakikita natin ng Diyos visibly. Kasi nagiging totoo sa atin yung Espiritu ng Diyos, therefore nakikita natin in human terms, ang Diyos. Ang kilos ng Diyos, ang galaw ng Diyos. The incarnation of God's Spirit is love in action. Ito yung merong umiibig, nagmamahal, ang Diyos ay nakikita, ang Diyos ay nagpapakita. 1 Corinthians 13, I may speak in different languages, whether human or even of angels, but if I don't have love, I am only a noisy bell or a ringing symbol. I may have the gift of prophecy. I may understand all secrets and know everything there is to know. And I may have faith so great that I can move mountains. But even with all this, if I don't have love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have to help others. And I may even give my body as an offering to be burned. But I gain nothing by doing all this if I don't have love. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, and I made plans like a child. In other words, when I was a child, I was unloving. I was even unloving for doctrine. Mas mahal ko pa ang doctrine kesa tao, mas mahal ko pa magparusa, mas mahal ko pa yung justice kesa grace, kesa love. But when I became a man, when I became mature, when I became Jesus-like, I stopped those childish ways. Mga kapatid, 37 years of day by day, naranasan natin ang mga periods of our growth from infancy to childhood to growth. At sa mga nakaraang taon na yan, halo-halong law and grace, halo-halong justice and love, halo-halong love as motif, love as core, love as spirit. Pero, salamat sa Diyos, maaga tayong nakaabot at dumating 
sa isang napakahalagang level and degree of maturity. Nagkaroon tayo, binang tayo ng Espiritu, at ng grasyang maunawa, more and more understanding and application of Jesus' teachings and example. More understanding and application of grace and love. Ibinigay sa atin in such a short time at nagagapat na unawa naman ang napakarami sa atin, the understanding and application of Jesusness, of what it is to really put Jesus in the center of our lives, to make the teachings of Jesus the filter, the standard by which we live, teach, and love. So stop being unloving kung meron pa mga unloving ways. Stop hating for the sake of the law and justice kasi madalas naman yan ang pinag-aawa yan, pinagkakaguluhan, ipinipilit yung law. Eh sinabi na nga, sabi sa Ephesians 2, 14 to 15, Christ gave His own body to destroy the law of Moses with all its rules and commands. Tapos ngayon, sa mga churches, marami pong mga tao ang gumagamit dun sa law to destroy one another. Kabaligtaran ang ginawa ni Jesus who destroyed the law in order to love people and in order for people to be able to love one another. 1 Corinthians 13, so these three things continue. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of this is love. Uulitin ko, love that is not just motif, love that is not just a scheme or a design, love to the core, love that forgives, love that gives, and love that intercedes for the brothers and the sisters for non-punishment. On our 37th year and beyond, happy, happy anniversary. At isipin na lang natin hanggang humarap tayo ng mukhaan sa Panginoon, love na lang talaga. Yun na lang ang i-apply. Huwag na natin piliing magalit, makipagkagalit, mang-away, makipag-away. Love na lang talaga. God bless us all. Love to you, mga pamangkin. Dito tayo mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos. Dito tayo mag-aral ng mga praktikal na bagay. Magdalanginan para sa isa't isa. Makinig ng mga mensahe. At dito tayo magsasama-sama spiritually. Sa ating official Ed Lapis YouTube channel na ang address ay Sabi ni Kuya Ed. Remember, dito tayo ha? Sabi ni Kuya Ed ang ating official YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share our official YouTube channel. Visit Ed Loppy's website for daily devotion, audio podcast, latest video message, send your prayer request, subscribe to mailing list and more. Visit edloppies.com.ph